Welcome to the Auburn University Speech and Hearing Clinic, located on the first floor of Haley Center. We've served the community for over 70 years and provide exceptional training for students in our speech-language pathology and audiology programs. Our speech-language pathology program provides evaluation and treatment services for individuals with communication disorders. We treat clients of all ages, from children experiencing difficulty developing a specific sound to individuals with a foreign accent who want to learn mainstream American English, to adults who have lost their ability to speak after a stroke or traumatic brain injury, to children and adults with voice disorders. Other disorders we treat include stuttering and dysphagia or difficulty swallowing. Our audiology program provides a wide variety of services to patients of all ages. These include a full range of hearing assessments for infants, children, and adults, comprehensive balance function testing, tinnitus evaluation and treatment, cochlea implant mapping, and hearing aid evaluation, fitting, and repair. Let's take a look at our facilities. Our large treatment rooms are used for evaluating and treating adults and older children with communication disorders. Because of the room's size, we can also treat young children whose parents may remain in the room due to separation issues or for parent training purposes. Large rooms are furnished with both adult and child-sized tables and chairs. Therapy mats can be placed on the floor for evaluation and treatment of young children. Our small treatment rooms are typically used for young children with communication disorders. Each room is furnished with a child-sized table and chairs. Larger adult-sized chairs may be brought into the room for a caregiver if needed. Our speech-language pathology students begin using these rooms in their first semester when they begin their clinical practicum. In our audiology diagnostic room, audiology students learn how to use audiometers, tympanometers, and state-of-the-art ABR and VNG equipment. They'll also perform tinnitus evaluations and treatment and cochlea implant mapping and work with major hearing aid manufacturers. Students are assigned to the clinic their first week in the program and have two regular clinical assignments each week. Students work with each clinical faculty member, offering them a wide range of experience and teaching strategies. Parents, caregivers, clinical faculty, and students may observe treatment and evaluations from two-way mirrors in our observation rooms. Caregivers will hear and see everything that happens in the session and can learn how to work with their family member at home. The clinic uses Vault software from Intelligent Video Solutions to increase the quality and effectiveness of our educational programs through video recordings. All recordings are easy to access and secure for teaching purposes. Our voice lab treats clients with voice and upper airway disorders. The lab contains equipment used for instrumental assessment, including a K-Pentax computerized speech lab, Pratt software, and a Pentax digital video stroboscopy system. Students gain first-hand experience using this state-of-the-art equipment. Our student room provides space for audiology and speech-language pathology students to store non-confidential materials and prepare for treatment and evaluation sessions. Tables and large countertops can be used for material preparation. Our materials room contains a large variety of materials used during treatment sessions in the clinic. Students may select different ones to use with clients during their sessions. Our faculty conduct a wide range of innovative research. Let's take a look at our research labs. The Auditory and Music Perception Lab, directed by Dr. Aurora Weaver, explores the science of how our brains hear. It's equipped with a Tucker Davis Technologies psychoacoustic workstation, used for both developing listening experiments and investigating developmental auditory skills. The lab space also includes two portable workstations that interface with E-Prime and other software used for remote data collection such as in daycares or schools. Ongoing research projects include investigating the benefits of music instruction on the auditory system, as well as developing tests to measure auditory skills in young children. The Technologies for Speech-Language Research Lab is directed by Dr. Marisha Spates-Atkins. Additional collaborators include Dr. Dallin Bailey, Dr. Cheryl Seals, Dr. Aurora Weaver, and the Speech Technology and Applied Research Corporation. Dr. Spates-Atkins' research focuses on finding innovative methods for assessing speech and expressive language disorders in children. This lab is unique in that they work alongside computer science and software engineers to research and develop new tools. The Auditory and Hearing Science Lab is directed by Dr. Sridhar Krishnamurti. Research topics include speech intelligibility and working memory processes in younger and older listeners, the effects of musical overexposure on the auditory system, the effects of musical training on the auditory system, the effects of training on auditory processing skills, 
and the effectiveness of hearing protection. The Hearing Education and Oral Rehabilitation Lab is directed by Dr. Alicia Jones. Its major focus is researching the effects of prematurity on the developing auditory and vestibular system. Other areas of focus include education of universal newborn hearing screening, oral rehabilitation, and acceptable noise levels. The Language and Speech Neurorehabilitation Lab, or LASER Lab, is directed by Dr. Dallin Bailey, Dr. Nancy Hake, and Dr. Lawrence Malt. The goal of the LASER Lab is the development of new techniques and strategies for increasing the functional communication of those with neurogenic communication disorders. The LASER Lab makes use of some unique equipment, including electromagnetic articulography equipment, which aids in three-dimensional tracking of lip and tongue movement in speech an Oculus Rift S virtual reality headset, as well as E-Prime 2.0 experimental software with a Kronos response box to aid with presentation and response time collection. The Child Language Lab and the Literacy Language and Culture Lab, or LILAC Lab, examine language from a multitude of perspectives to answer questions regarding the human experience with language. The labs share an inviting and naturalistic space where caregivers and children are encouraged to interact on the plush carpeting and comfortable seating. The Child Language Lab, headed by Dr. Allison Plum, focuses on the study of language development and disorders in children from birth through adolescence. The Lilac Lab, headed by Dr. Megan Brett Hamilton, examines the role that language and culture play in oral and written communication across the lifespan. The Voice Lab space houses both the Speech Science, Fluency, and Communication Lab and the Voice Physiology Lab. The Speech Science, Fluency, and Communication Lab, directed by Dr. Laura Plexico, examines aspects of communicative function that influences quality of life in children and adults with communication disorders. The Voice Physiology Lab, directed by Dr. Mary Sandage, conducts interdisciplinary research that merges basic muscle physiology and exercise performance testing practices with measures of voice function. Both labs have many opportunities for students to gain research experience in the areas of voice and speech science. Auburn University is a great choice for pursuing a Master of Science degree in speech language pathology or a Doctor of Audiology degree. For more information about our faculty, research, and facilities, visit our website at cla.auburn.edu slash communication disorders or call 334-844-9600. We look forward to welcoming you to our program.